didn't know what to wear. I don't suppose it matters, really. Oh, you've got to make an effort when you're meeting your baba for the first time, haven't you? Don't want him or her judging me. You do know they can't see you back, don't you? Well, <laughs> that's a good job, isn't it? Because otherwise they might stay in there forever if they see you. Oh, <laughs> 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 <sighs> oh from our run. Oh, I've had to go on a, on a scrap run. It says, I'll be thinking about you all day. You've got this. Hmm. <laughs> How are you both feeling? Yeah! Believe it or not, excited. Oh, good. Just wanted to come and wish you both luck. Wow, all this attention. But they can't tell us anything on this scan anyway. Well, you know, apart from checking the heartbeat and making sure it's growing OK. We're just going to take it as it comes. Yes, we're OK. No, we don't need you to come with us because today is going to be a good day. <laughs> The whole pregnancy is going to be good. We're going to go for no stress, no drama, full on positivity. So you've all had your orders. Mm -hmm. That's us, Tori. <laughs> Come here. Come here, love. <laughs> Mamma mia, here I go again. Uh, sorry, just get the marmalade. This is too weird. I feel constantly on edge. I've been lying awake half the night praying that you're going to be up before Amelia. Yeah, and I was. Well, that's not the point. We're pretending to be together when we've got one of the savviest kids. I said that last night. If she sees me in the spare room, we'll say it's because of me snoring. <sighs> For four months. We agreed to this. <sighs> if she finds out we're splitting up, it could devastate her. I had a dream that we were at your wedding reception. You know, it's probably because we watched Mamma Mia. Anyway. You two came up with some really cool dance moves to this random song, and so... Dan, she's gonna miss the bus. Ah, uh, I'll walk you to the stop. But you will do a dance? You know, everyone else does, and I can give Dad some lessons, cos I know how useless it is. Yes, maybe. Oh, uh, where's your ring? What? Your engagement ring. Oh, well, don't say you've lost that already. That could be a bad omen. Don't be daft. I took it off when I was showering. I didn't want all the lotions and potions damaging it. Oh. I'd be the same. Anyway, let us step mum. Oh, you cheeky. Hi. <sighs> I haven't got any tea again. You have some coffee. I don't drink coffee anymore in the mornings, do I? OK, well, I'll pick some tea bags up when I'm next in the village. <sighs> Debbie will come round. No, Debbie won't come round. You didn't see her. Well, blaming yourself isn't helping. You know, there's only one person I blame here. No, no, in fact, two. Kim and a lapdog, Graham. If, if he'd just stand up to her, if she hadn't wanted Joe out of the way, if he'd just stayed at the hospital and got married, then none of this would have happened, oh, would Oh, Kane, you can't keep going over this. It would have happened anyway. She's obviously the kind of woman that doesn't stop until she gets what she wants. I mean, I doubt that anyone's ever said no to her in her entire life. Well, what's that supposed to mean? Well, uh, well, you still think that I slept with her, don't you? Uh, no, that's that's not what I meant. No, that's what it sounds no, like. No, Kane, that's not that's what, what I said. Like to me. I didn't say that, Kane. Right, listen up, rabble. Young Ryan here is going to be taking some photos of you working. That is, if you remember the concept. <laughs> and then he'll be posting them to our social media. Oh. So, best sides only, please. We need to make a good impression. <laughs> and if they give you any grief, well, I'm sure you're capable of giving it back. Yeah, pretty much. And wear this. Make sure all your hair's tucked in. <laughs> Hey, I could share any uploads with my followers. Do you know I've got... 5,026, yeah, we did, funnily enough. Minus one, cos I unfollowed you this morning. <laughs> well, maybe if you spent as much time packing as you do pouting into your phone, you'd have got the hang of the job by now. Right, you need some gorgeous shots of the chocolate. That'll do it far more than pics of this ugly line in hairnets. Oi! <laughs> you forgot your lunch, you dits. Oh. Oh, yeah. Laurel, could I ask you a favour? Uh, well, can you make it quick, cos he's in a family? Could you help me out with this later? That one's already turned me down. Oh. 
Singles mingle. Yeah, the bishop's reaching out to the lonely and bereaved in the parish. Oh, boy. Yeah. Is it this afternoon? No, oh, no. I promise it's not a set-up. I just need a hand, that's all. And I'm not above begging. Well, you can count me in. They're not single. Or bereft. What a detail. Social isolation in rural areas is close to my heart. Hustling for votes. You are shameless. Laurel? Oh, well, I've got Arthur oh, and... Jimmy will have him. We're going. I'll try to come through. Really? Has it ever been? No stress. It'll be all right. Well, if you got me involved earlier, like I suggested... Yes, 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 but you can still fix it. Well, not on my own account. But if you two pull your weight, there might be a chance. Eh? I'm a rubbish gardener. That's what you're here for. I thought you wanted it finished by the time Chad and Paddy got back. If it's bad news... No, 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 no. Today's going to be a good day. No, we don't know that for sure. And we want this memorial looking wonderful. So are we all on board? <sighs> oh, go on, then. <sighs> don't just stand there. Wait, so you've agreed to pretend to stay together? Dan wants us to do it for Amelia. I mean, seriously, what choice have I got? Uh, the choice to be sane? To tell Dan he's crazy getting her hopes up like this, only to smash them to bits when she finds out the truth? I know, but maybe Dan's right. Maybe treading gently is the best way. I mean, us splitting up right now, it could really mess her up. Well, I think you're making a big mistake. <sighs> Oh, flame and egg. You haven't even got your lunch on yet. Oh, don't sweat it. Guess who got a six in their English? Don't tell us. Amelia Brain Box Spence, I'm your little store. Hey, I still can't believe us two are going to be sisters. Now I've always wanted a sister. Yay! Well, I'll try not to be too annoying. Oh, you won't be. I'll borrow your clothes. You know, I'm going to be the best sister you could ever have. I think we'll be seeing you today. Just thought it'd be, you know, the, the person that does the, the scan, like last time, what they're called. Sonographers. There's no need for alarm. After what happened with Grace, we just want to make sure we keep a closer eye on things this time around. If that's OK with you both. Yeah, sure. And that's just normal practice, is it? Absolutely. Right, let's see what we have in here, then. We were hoping for a little baby. <laughs> Ignore him. It most certainly is a baby. Strong, healthy heartbeat. Want to hear? Wow. Hello, tiny little human. She's way better, baby. <laughs> yeah, I did. Have you any idea how precious you Kids need the truth, even if it hurts them. Right, I'm gone. Right. See you later, kiddo. Mwah. You behave yourself. On it. She's finally settling down again. She's doing well at school. Fine. Do it. But it won't end well. Genius. People love a chocolate shop. Hmm? The products look amazing. 
Find your light source, choose your filter, boom. I'm impressed. All I should I do. Oh, well, let's have more of them. <laughs> I uh, am just off to this meeting. Oh, yes, don't forget it's mine and Nicola's afternoon off. But um, the Hensley order is done, so we are way ahead of schedule. Again? You know, all this productivity might have a downside. Well, for this lot, anyway. What do you mean? I can't have people getting paid if they sat around doing that. You might have to let someone go. Is he kidding? I'm not known for his sense of humour in business. But he hates wasting money, doesn't he? Hmm. Might be more than one of us, too. I reckon we've done your child right proud. <sighs> Thanks, Doug. Oh, these are on the house. But don't tell her I said so. Well, I'm not sure she'd begrudge him. <laughs> Come on, then. Let's see this wonderful transformation. What do you reckon, then? Absolutely perfect. It's a shame your dad's not here to see it, eh? OK, well, now we've all agreed it's amazing. Should we go back inside? I'm joking. Charles. What is it? It's this. This is just fantastic. Thank you. All of you. You've got no idea how much this means, especially finishing it today. Is everything OK? Well, as, as far as they can ever tell, um, right now, at this point of time, we have a perfectly formed, gorgeous little baby due October the 17th. Oh. Yes! <laughs> Hallelujah! That is the kind of news this family needs. That is the best news ever. <laughs> and this is for you. <laughs> Not exactly the Vera Lynn Brigade I was expecting. Me neither. This lot are a riot. The original rock and roll generation all grown up and they don't take too well to cups of tea and sing-alongs. Still, they're old enough to vote and that's all that matters. Wish me luck. I'm going in. <laughs> Ruthless, self-serving and ambitious. So make a perfect politician. Right, you got this, Harriet. You don't need me. Yes, yes, I do. I need you. If only to bring the average age down. Still. Oh, 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 I thought you were on board with this. Yeah, let and I think that we're still together, not getting married, though. What difference does it make? We just leave it to the summer holidays and tell her everything's off then. So months of her asking what to buy stuff, a bridesmaid dress, getting all excited. Dan, it's not right. It's really cruel. So what do you want? <sighs> tell her that the wedding's cancelled because we're skint. <sighs> She'll never buy that. But why are you rowing? We're not rowing. I'm not stupid. Listen, darling. Oh, what's happened? Well, just tell me. OK. Look, we've been chatting. Hey, it's nothing. Nothing to worry about. Dan? OK, look, we can't afford the wedding in the summer, so we're having to put it off till Christmas. Or later, even. Not gonna do it, are you? And that's why you've not been wearing your ring. Oh, sweetheart, we're just postponing it. It'll fly by. Promise? Yeah, of course. Oh, marrying Kerry is gonna make me the happiest man alive. And she feels the same way, don't you? Of course. Eh, yeah, see? A Christmas wedding? Oh, that'll be so magical. Be amazing. Promise, don't we? Where have you been? No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I sounded like I was... I know that you didn't sleep with Kim. Still not certain, though, are you? Most times. It's just sometimes... my head gets the better of me. I'm sorry. And I, I know that it's my problem and that I, I will deal with that. Even when I've sworn on my kid's life, you still don't trust me. 
It's not you. It's Kim I don't trust. She's nobody to us. And nobody that single-handedly destroyed your relationship with Debbie tried to mess with our marriage, which I won't let her do again. Not anymore. And uh, I promise you that Debbie will come round in time. She loves you to bits. I won't mention the Kim thing again. But you have to promise me that you will stay away from her. She's dangerous. I know. Well, we're not going to let her ruin this family. OK? Which means you have to promise me that you'll have nothing else to do with her ever again. Promise. OK. Mm -hmm. mm. Come in. Disgusting, don't do that. Why? Well, cos I've seen your fingernails. Listen, sit down, will you? What's up? What is it? OK, look, this isn't easy. It's about Joe. What about Joe? He's been found. Alive. Seriously? When's he coming home? Baby's not. That's just the point. He didn't want to be found. Why? Remember I reported him missing to the police? Well, he obviously heard. He took himself into a police station to say that he's fine, but he doesn't want anyone to know where he is. Not us, though. Including us, yeah. But I don't understand. Why would he do that? Because the man's a low-life knower, and he doesn't deserve either of you. Mum. Why don't you just give us a minute? OK, fine. Noah, I'm so sorry. We have to tell Graham he's been found. Graham knows. OK, Graham's known the whole time where Joe is. So he lied to me? All that time? Yeah. More than you'll ever believe. Is it to do with those pictures they didn't want Kane to see? Were they of Joe? I'm so stupid. I thought Graham was on my side. No, Graham's not on your side, OK? He's not on anyone's side, and neither is Joe. They have used us, Noah. I thought we were his family. Families don't do that. OK, families don't just run away. Families stick together no matter what. Everything was OK until Kim came back. We were happy. <laughs> it's all her and Graham's fault. Yeah. Yeah, you're right about that. They can't get away with this. <laughs> they can't. They won't, OK? Promise you. Oi, <laughs> Horace! Hands to yourself. You've been hugging that door all afternoon. Oh, I'm, I'm just helping out. Research, yes, I hear you. <laughs> In my case, it's true. <laughs> I'm only here cos I'm nowhere better. <laughs> Terrifying bunch, aren't they? Mm. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nicola King, respective councillor for the parish. I'm just wondering if I can count on your vote. If a vote means a ban on politicians at social events, you certainly can. That's rude. There's more to life than dancing to rock and roll and getting drunk in the afternoons, you know. Who said there's nothing to get old for, eh? <laughs> John Richmond. Laurel Thomas, mother. Widow also. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. You're far too young to have loved and lost. I've two left feet, but shall we give them a good laugh up there? Oh, no. I know I'm an old dog, but, well, if you can't beat them... Let's join them. <laughs> Do you think you're peeing at? She was on to us, I had to do something. Kissing me? It was just a peck. That Nora repulsed you so much. I've agreed to your plan, because I think you're right, yeah, she can't handle a split right now. But we are over, Dan, do you understand? I'm not stupid. Right. So I'll play the game in front of Amelia, but that's it. And once the first day of the summer break comes, we tell her. That's what I said. Right. Well, I'm off to work. 
Ah, oh, well, there was a spag bowl later. We still need to eat. Fine. Four months done, and you are going to turn this round. Mm. Now, the magnolia is traditionally an evergreen. However, some magnolias are deciduous, which means they will shed some leaves come the autumn. But never fear, because... Some wood put her out of her misery, please. Hey, She's completely glazed over, though. <laughs> but, but I am really, really grateful to all of you for making it look so beautiful. Honestly, I am. Me too. Well, I'm glad you like it. And I did have a bit of help from that old layabout. <laughs> Me and Faith carried him. You wouldn't know <laughs> one end of a spade from the other. It's Aaron's copy. Yeah. He's over the moon. How did we get so lucky? Because we deserve it. Yeah. Whatever you need over these next few months, it's yours. Peace, quiet, rest, anything. I'm going to make sure this is the most stress-free pregnancy there's ever been. Right, now, we know how those statements can end, don't we? So please don't tempt it, mate. Howdy, folks. Only me. And don't look like that. At least nobody died, eh? <laughs> Emmerdale continues in half an hour.